y'all miss me. I miss you guys. I figured I'd give y'all a little break because mama said y'all was getting tired of me. But you know what? When there's something to be said, there's just something to be said. And I, I'm not going to talk about the events that happened the other day because I, I do want to know more of the findings before I voice my opinion. Um, because you know I do have an opinion, right? Let me sit y'all right here for a minute. Um, but I said, I said I was going to discuss um, Friends the other day. And um, I didn't get to discuss Friends. And it wasn't much about Friends because um, if y'all don't know, if I call you my friend, I consider you near and dear to me. And if you're my friend today, you're my friend tomorrow. If you're my friend at this job, you're my friend when I'm not at this job. If you're my friend, you're my friend. But I can understand how some people base friendships on the amount of time that I am in your presence. So if, if I'm not in your presence, we're not friends which is crazy to me. I don't understand that type of friendship. We, we have to work in the same area to be friends. We, we have to, to basically live on the same block to be friends. Why is it that if I move, our friendship ends? You know, and, and being, you know, a veteran, I understand the fact, you gotta know the difference. The difference is when you move and you lose contact and it's very easy to do when you're in the military you know very easy to do but I'm talking about we're in the same city or across the water from each other in the same area and the only thing that changed is that our workplace has changed or our our address has changed or something like that and where did the friendship go the friendship change. But you my friend when you need me to do something, you know, when you need something from me, when you need my support, you're my friend. But when I need you, where's my friend? So my question to you guys, do do we need those type of friends? Do, do you need those type of friends? Are those healthy friends? Or healthy relationships, should I say? Are those friendships healthy relationships when the only time I get to see you or I hear from you is when you need me? But when I need you, you're not around. That's something to make you wonder. Now, I'm not particularly talking about my friends. I'm just putting this out hypothetically um, as a topic, you know, check your friends. Because everybody that calls themselves a friend is not a friend. And just because somebody fr is friendly doesn't mean that they're a friend to you. And I hope you understand that. Sometimes friends are your friends because they want to maximize, maximize off of your morning because I got a meeting to be to come on okay here we are they want they, they want to gain something off of what you can do for them they want to be beneficiaries they want to benefit from the friendship but they don't want to give anything into the friendship let me tell y'all something now if it was me and I was in a predicament like that um the friendship would be over you see what I'm saying because growing up if I must say that's called using. You got a friend like that. You have a user as a friend. She's only or he's only going to use you for what they need. And then they're gone. So what kind of friend is that? Is that, you know, how is that beneficial on both sides? A friendship is a partnership. So if your friend only needs you when they need you and only around when they need you, 
that friendship is not healthy. And I'm not talking about financially. I'm talking about emotionally. I'm talking about supporting. Um, you may need help with your children. You might just need some advice. Where's your friend? See, we use that word loosely. We, we use it loosely. And if I called you my friend, if I call you my friend, honestly, when I called you that, I thought you were my friend. I thought you were a friend. I felt as if you were a friend because I was willing to be there for you when you needed me. I'm willing to be there for you any way I can to support you. And even financially, if necessary, I felt that you were my friend. But if I find you not to be a friend, are we cutting ties? We don't cut ties, just know that. You can call me friend, but you know, like the bird with the ugly woman, you know. So I'm, I'm just curious to, you know, to find out how do you handle that? I, or not even curious to find out because you know, this is normally just one way with me. Um, I want you to think about your friendships, evaluate your friendships, and then reevaluate your friendships. Okay, know who your associates are and know who you can call friend. And when you know that, your life will be a lot better because disappointment won't come to you so suddenly. It won't be often that you have disappointment because you know this person wasn't a friend from the beginning. You really should not have put your trust in this individual as a friend. Okay? You know, I, 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 you know, some people, and y'all might think my, my discussions might be minor, um, but you would be surprised on how many people don't get advice from their parents. You'd be surprised on how many parents don't know that they should talk to their children about anything, every topic, every area, everything. You got some parents don't worry about nothing, but when that check come, food in the refrigerator, and getting time to themselves. But parents, we have to talk to our kids about everything. We got to talk to our kids about things that are uncomfortable. Sex, friendships, relationships, Pregnancy for both our male child and our female child. We have to talk to our children. We we you know we can't just show them our struggles because you know when I was a child we didn't show my mother didn't show our struggles. I thought we were rich. I asked my mother. I was like, Mama, we not rich, and I was in high school. I thought we were rich because my mother never showed me her struggles. My mother never talked about not having any money. The bottom line was if I said, Mama, can I have? Mom was like, no. And that was it. It wasn't a question on why I couldn't have it or anything like that. Um, these days, the parents let the child be in too much of the technical stuff. Children don't need to worry about whether or not you can pay your mortgage or your rent. You need to get into those social discussions with your children. What what to do when your friend asks you to do this, that, and the other. What to do when your friend turn your back their back on you one day and then turn around and want to be your friend the next day. How do you handle that situation? What to do when you get your first job and you treat it unequal? What to do? How to act? How should your mind be? Because your focus is getting that check. So how should your mind be? How far should you take? How much should you endure? These are the kind of situations we need and or discussions we need to be having with our children about these different type of relationships. Not just friendship, but relationships as well. You see, my mother taught me a long time ago. Now, some of you won't, just, won't agree with this, but I love my mother for it. I mean, I love her to life for it because I used to always respect my elders i don't care what my elders did to me i respected them because they were my elders okay and then one day when i got older my mother let me know your elders need to also respect you what 
Yeah, I was so glad because growing up, we get stepped on so much. You you can only imagine. And not only we, and I'm going to say this, and I normally don't say it, but as a black woman, I've been kicked in the stomach, slapped in the face, stabbed in the neck. Not just in the back, in the neck. Okay? And I had to deal with that in the military. I had to deal with it in the sheriff's department. I had to deal with that. Being educated. But being ignored. Because nobody cared that I was educated because of who I was or what I was or with the color of my skin. I mean, it's... I don't talk like this. But what's going on? And I said I wasn't going to discuss what's going on in the world right now. So I'm going to end this because I'm really getting a little bit out of character right now. Teach your kids how to behave in certain situations. Teach them about relationships. Different types of relationships. Teach them. They need to be aware of what's going to happen. They need to understand that this may come to you going to the into the military you're not protected from racism matter of fact it's a melting ground for racism a melting pot it's all right there in your face people that make decisions for you right there can't stand you because of the color of your skin i'm gonna say it i'm gonna put it out there it's everywhere you can't run from it you have to learn how to deal with it how much of it are you going to accept without saying anything? And when to step in and say, listen, you will not treat me this way. We're going to continue this discussion later. I do have a meeting. My son said I have more meetings and we ain't getting nothing accomplished. I don't have a lot of meetings, but we are accomplishing things because I'm working for the people. I'm working for the community, the citizens of where I live. So, um... I will be back with you once I calm down. Mm.